News 46 is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, VEA surpasses their goal collecting school supplies. And the deadline is approaching to submit school bus applications. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Unet Gentry. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Valley Electric set up shop at various stores to collect school supplies. It's Thursday, August 9th. I'm Unette Gentry. Valley Electric Association and the community broke a record this year with their annual fill the bucket truck back to school supply drive. Their goal of 37 buckets was surpassed by Saturday afternoon. These buckets, of course, are on the bucket trucks. Um, how many are we trying to beat this year? We are trying to beat 37. Wow. And we're doing a great job. We've just um, got a couple of carts out of the store and think that that gives us an additional three. So uh, lots of good school supplies. We picked up scissors and paper and tissue and baby wipes and crayons and pencils and pens, and scissors and glue. We're going to be distributing supplies as far away as Sandy Valley and then to the other end of our service territory, which is in Fish Lake Valley. The important thing about what we're doing is to get kids started off on the right foot and give them everything that they need to have a successful school year. Fantastic. Um, thanks so much for doing this. If people can't make this today, where can they donate their school supplies? We're going to be sorting um, on uh, Tuesday, but they can drop off at uh, Valley Electric or the Conference Center on Tuesday. Uh, we'd like to get these school supplies distributed to the schools as quickly as possible. How much do teachers in the school need these supplies? You know what, um, not really the teachers, but it's the kids, you know, and the kids, it's all about the kids, and a lot of kids can't afford things, so we try to uh, get supplies, and Valley Electric's been really nice for us to uh, help do this drive, and so hopefully we're going to get a lot of great things for some needed kids. So what types of items are you guys looking for? Well, you know what, uh, what we tell people is if you used it in school, uh -huh. um, then we need it. Oh. Um, except way back when we had the little sliding <laughs> rulers. But um, pencils, um, notebooks, anything would help. Backpacks, it'd yeah. be great. And we do have a list from Valley Electric, uh, which would be helpful. They need it all year long, don't they? Oh, you know what, they need it all year long. And, uh, you know, we start off pretty strong. And uh, about Christmas, we need some more supplies. Those pencils break. The Nye County Sheriff's Office reports that they had to revoke the work cards, brothel, and liquor license from Dennis Hoff's Love Ranch in Crystal. Officials with the County Liquor and Licensing Board rejected the license renewal after almost a year of trying to get that facility to meet code. Tuesday's BOCC meeting addressed several brothel license renewals. The vote, which was 3 to 2, to decline to renew the Love Ranch brothel license renewal for fiscal year 2018 2019, effectively closed the facility after months of contention regarding health and safety violations, building permits, and now an incomplete license application and late payment for the license renewal fee. The Liquor and Licensing Board directed the Nye County Sheriff's Office to revoke the license for the Cherry Patch LLC Love Ranch brothel and their liquor license. The Nye County Sheriff's Office report that they were contacted by the Love Ranch manager stating that they would not allow deputies to retrieve the licenses, which is another violation. But when deputies arrived, they did just that, revoked the licenses and work cards without any confrontation on either side. According to our Nye County Code, 920-0010, we, this board, is designated to pr promote the public trust through, stricted, through the strictest regulation. Also in Nye County Code 920-040B, this board is required to faithfully enforce. Now we have had situations 
with this individual and this establishment whereby on October of 2016 there was a violation show cause and violation was established in May of 2017 violation was established through show cause on 7 2017 violation was established for cause our Nye County Code 920-040-C7 says that the applicant will provide um, a renewal form 30 days prior to the expiration date and failure shall result in an automatic revocation. As I understand it, this was not applied for this year until well beyond that date. Nye County Code 92010 states specifically that our codes are designed to promote the public trust through strict regulation. In 92040B, it states that we shall, we have the duty, this board, to see that this chapter is faithfully enforced. With these violations laid out in front of us, and some of them with no resolution at this point that I can see, that there is no option in my mind and no way I can give a vote in favor of renewing a license, especially since it should have resulted in an automatic revocation when the application was not received 30 days prior to the expiration date. And as was said before, um, well, actually, I believe I have the date here. It was the fees were actually paid on July 27th. Dennis Hoff said that this move and the ones prior, which resulted in his license being suspended, is politically motivated and plans to appeal the decision. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. And stay tuned to News 46. We have information about two motorcycle accidents, two separate incidents, unfortunately, two fatal scenes. We'll be right back. <laughs> 